Hi Cancer, welcome to your singles reading for October. This is a new series I'm adding to the channel. It's for singles. Who is coming towards you? Who are they? What kind of energy will they be in? What time frame of year perhaps? How will you meet them? Where will you meet them? What kind of a connection could this be? So this is sort of a fun reading, so I hope you like this. If you do, please do comment below. Subscribe, like, share, um, all that great stuff. Um, hit the bell and let me know how you like this. I have also uh, am introducing another new series to the channel, and it's called Messages from Your Spirit Guides. So I'll be doing them monthly also, and let me know how you like those. So now there's four totally different readings per month, so you have a variety to choose from. So welcome. If you're new, if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me. There's tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Thank you for all your support. Really does mean a lot to me. All the new subscribers, those have tipped and donated, those reached out for personal readings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your support really does mean a lot to me. And being a part of this channel and community, helping it to grow, flourish, getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you, thank you so much. And being a part of this community. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love doing this for you guys. All right, Cancer, singles, let's see. What kind of energy may be coming in towards you for October or any time after October? I mean, this could be next year. It could be any time. But it's sort of a fun reading, so we'll see what we get here. So I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy halloween -y. All right. Cancer. Let's see what the Zodiac here. Cancer single spirit, please. Who's coming towards Cancer? Who are they? What signs could they possibly be for cancel, Cancer Singles, please? Two cards. Oh, we got Pluto, which I believe is Scorpio. Yep. Okay, one more. So it could be a fellow water sign. Could be a Scorpio or a Libra. Hmm. We have Scorpio with Pluto, and we have Libra. So those are the two signs that came out. Or they could have it somewhere in their chart somewhere also, not necessarily their sun sign. All right, so let's see what kind of energy this person will be. What are they like? What is their energy? Spirit, please, for this possible person coming into Cancer. It can be male, female. It's all just energy, so I'm just looking at the energy. Okay, so for Cancer singles, who is this person? What is their energy like? Can we get one card for Cancer? Incoming person, next love, new love. I just want one card. Next love, new love, incoming person. Who is coming towards Cancer? What is their energy, spirit, please? Uh-oh, all tied up. <laughs> we have 23, which is five. Five can be about challenge uh, and change. So you may meet somebody, I'm getting here, for some of you that you may feel a strong connection with, that you may feel is like a soulmate or something like that, that, but they may be still tied up in another situation at the time. Oh boy, okay. They may still be tied up into something else, either wrapping up ties with somebody else or they're still bound to somebody else. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so let's get a time frame, like maybe what season of the year uh, or something like that. When could you possibly meet this person? We're going to do extra clarification with the tarot. So, all right, so we have the eight of, I think this is the eight of pentacles. So that is uh, fall season. So we are in fall now. So positive movement forward. So an eight is about change. So maybe this person is trying to make positive movement forward, trying to get themselves unbound from the situation that they're in here with the all tied up energy and the eight of, I believe this is the eight of pentacles. Is fall energy so could be we're in fall right now so could be fall season the season so let's see 
let's see, could be the eighth of the month, um, or something like that. Like the eighth, the eighteenth, twenty eighth. All right, so let's see when. So we got the when fall. Where? Like, where will you meet this person? Possibly where? That's too many. Just want one. Where could Cancer possibly meet this person? This incoming person. New love for Cancer singles. New love. Next love. Incoming love. Who's coming towards Cancer? How will they meet? Well, where? Where will they meet this person? Possibly. Nutrition. So... What I'm getting with this is um, you could either be out shopping, grocery shopping, you could be dining out, um, anything to do with food. You could be taking a cooking class um, or taking some, you know, you could, anything that involves culinary food or something like that. So you could even be taking like a weight loss program, um, just maybe a nutri nutritional class or something like that. So many different things this could go for, you know, grocery shopping, uh, dining out, uh, taking classes, nutrition, cooking, or something like that, where you may meet this person. All right, so let's see uh, how, like how will it come about that you will meet this person? Some of you could even, I mean, you could even be um, at a farm, um, you know, in the fall, you go pumpkin picking, uh, apple picking, and that sort of thing. So you see this woman is outside. So you could even be at a farm um, or something like that, you know, picking some apples or picking out a pumpkin for the fall season or something like that. Hmm. Or you could even be in the park having a picnic by yourself, <laughs> you know. All right, so let's see. Let's see how. I'm like assuming like different scenarios, but let's see how. Let's see how. So we have the stars here. So you could be dining out under the stars. <laughs> um, but the star is a very healing divine energy. Uh, it's a bit wishes, dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism. Um, something healing something divinely guided six of cups energy you could have had past lives with this person um, you could even be reconnecting from someone from the past but this is supposed to be new love but maybe it's someone you knew from the past but it was just maybe a friend or someone you kind of knew like an acquaintance and now they're coming in as a new love is what i'm getting also and you have 16 there which is seven seven is a divinely guided number so this is nighttime to me with the stars so you could be dining out um well, in the fall, be kind of chilly to be dining out under the stars. Or maybe it could be a, um, like in a room where it's all glass and you feel like you're dining outside and you can see the stars or something like that. Or unless you're in the warm part of the country and it's still like warm enough to dine outside, I feel like you may meet this person and maybe you're gazing up at the stars and then they come along or you bump into them and there they are like gazing up at the stars also and you start start up a conversation about the constellations or, you know, something like that. Okay, so let's see if you connect with this person. And I think it's going to be like, <laughs> I'm getting a feeling like, sort of like, is this real? Like, they're dreamy. Is this real? Uh, you know, maybe you've been hoping and praying for somebody and then all of a sudden, poof, they're there. All right, maybe they even work at this restaurant. Maybe they cook, maybe they, or something, or maybe they own it, or maybe they're, you know, um, you know, maybe they run it or something and they go out for a break and, you know, there you are or something like that. Okay, so, all right. So let's see, if you connect with this person, Cancer, what kind of connection will this be between the two of you? What kind of connection will this... Wow. <laughs> that just like flew straight up in the air. I don't know if you've seen that. Wow. 
All right, so we have ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself to support. Allow yourself the support you need. And you see like this person like praying, meditating, asking for assistance. We have 14 there with five is again about change. <sighs> I don't know, you may be unsure about this person. So you may ask for help from friends, family members, uh, their opinion, their advice, and that sort of thing. I feel like you're going to need, you're probably going to need um, some sort of, feel like you need some sort of advice, guidance. If you're watching this reading, maybe it's just watching tarot, other tarot readings uh, to see, you know, if the energy you're feeling is right, it's correct, what you should do. Um, but I don't know about that all tied up, though. We're going to... Um, okay, what I'm getting to is maybe this person is very busy. Maybe they work a lot, you know. If they do work in a restaurant or they own it or they're a chef and they work like 12, 15-hour days, you know, they might just be all tied up in other things in their life. And, uh, you know, you wonder, how do they even have time for a relationship? All right, so I don't know. Let's see what your advice um, is for this new love, incoming love. Who's coming towards cancer? What's cancer's advice? Helpful people. And we have asked for help. Wow. So <laughs> ask for help and helpful people. So if you feel like you need guidance, advice of some kind, again, friends, family members, um, maybe getting a personal reading or something like that to help clarify your situation, what you're truly feeling. Could also be praying, meditating, ask for help from your um, angels, your spirit team, uh, divine energy from above to give you insights. All right, so any other, any other messages, guidance for cancer, with this new love, this new connection. Listen to your intuition, exactly. Wow, and I was just thinking that. I was just gonna say that. Um, and you see this like divine light around here, you know, and I was going to say, listen to your gut, your intuition about this situation and how you truly feel about this person. All right. So let's, let's do some clarification for you, cancer with this person. Let's clarify some of these cards. Here. I'm definitely, definitely clarifying all tied up. See what we get with that. It could that could have a variety of meanings. They could just be really, really busy with work, career, or they could still be bound to something else. I don't know. We'll see. So let's clarify for cancer. Why is all tied up here for cancer spirit, please? Why is all tied up here? Uh, spirit, please, for cancer, for this new love, this next love, this incoming person, who's coming towards them? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so they might might have just started this new career here. This is um, material, monetary, brand new beginning. So definitely career and work oriented. So I feel like they've probably just started this new um business venture they just open and open their new business this is a brand new beginning of some sort of business something uh, monetary material something like that so i feel like they're all tied up with um their career all tied up with their career especially with that ace of pentacles that is a, a brand new beginning in career um monetary material sort of energy all right, so see, see, this is fall. So let's see, uh, what do we get for that in the fall? Possibly meeting this person in the fall. Can we just get one card to clarify this fall energy for Cancer? What is this fall energy for Cancer? And we have the Five of Pentacles energy. So Pentacles are fall. So it is confirming here. It could be fall. We have five now. So um, I'm not going to read the card because I just wanted like a time frame. But I do feel with the positive movement forward, this person is trying to even out their responsibilities, their work ethic, their career, 
trying to smooth things out, trying to um, make everything run smoothly. But we do have the Five of Pentacles energy here, which is about uh, fear of monetary lack. Um, also abandonment, uh, neglect, feeling neglected. So I think, you know, as much as their like business may be moving forward in a positive energy, they have a fear of maybe it not succeeding uh, or continuing to succeed. But that is a double confirmation of fall there, especially with the pentacles. So now we have five, eight. So definitely the beginning of the month or a date ending in five or has a five in it or has an eight in it or ending in eight or something like that. So eight and five is 13, which is four. Hmm. Okay, so definitely uh, beginning of the month or like I said, what five or eight in the date. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's get one for nutrition. So I feel like I'm definitely feeling like this person may own their own um, restaurant or something with food, culinary. All right, so let's uh, see if we can clarify this nutrition. So we got the five of swords. So, and you see this man with swords over a fire. Exactly. So <laughs> definitely like cooking with knives over a fire. It's, wow. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling like this person is a chef. This person, because you got the fire there, you know, and knives. So, swords, knives, you know, I'm, I'm definitely feeling um, a chef sort of energy. Or, or they work in a restaurant environment or something like that. Wow. And they definitely, with this woman here, like, well, she's preparing food. Or maybe you get a job as a waitress in a restaurant and you, like, hit it off with the chef. And that's how it starts also. All right, so let's clarify. What is the star about? Because I feel like, you know, maybe you have like a second shift. Uh, maybe if you do start like waitressing or something and at a new place and you hit it off with the chef, the owner or something like that. Um, it's going to be at nighttime with the star energy here. So what is the star energy here for Cancer? The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So Earth energy again. So definitely here. Um, and you see uh, like a farm and they do have some food in their hand. And this is fall energy again. This could lead to your Ten of Pentacles person. Growth, abundance with this person. And you see she's carrying food in her arm. Almost like, you know, a waitress carries. So... And it does look a little dim. Uh, it's not nighttime, but it does look dim in that picture. So I definitely feel like this will be at nighttime. Whether um, it's just telling me, okay, nighttime, or whether maybe, you know, you go out for a break, they come out for a break, and you're gazing up at the stars, and you start a conversation, and, you know, you start to get a twinkle in each other's eye. About, oh, you know, and it starts to form a little bit of a connection there. So several messages. Uh there for some of you however it resonates for you if you're just dining out or you decide to start waitressing at a new place and you meet this person somehow in one of those scenarios so let's see what does this ask for help for cancer why is ask for help here with this new connection for cancer please spirit thank you so much one card and this two this one one Too many. One card for Cancer. Oh, we got the Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups, the Fool, the Ten of Cups. So, okay, they're telling me to take these two. All right, so what I'm feeling is it's like the Swords here is a new beginning, but it's also about truth, clarity, and then taking a leap of faith. So, I think you're just uncertain whether or not to take a leap of faith with this person and you need some truth and clarity. So you may, like I said, ask for help from others uh, to gain clarity, to gain advice, to whatever here, whether it's like getting a personal reading, whether it's just talking to friends and family, um, legal counsel, professional, I don't know, something where you really need uh, some advice 
or I always consider the Ace of Swords divine energy also. Ask and divine, do I take a leap with this person? All right, so let's see what helpful person, helpful person. Now that was supposed to be what kind of connection will it be? Maybe, you know, ask for help. Maybe um, this person will be very helpful. Maybe you'll be very helpful to one another. Um, always there. You can depend on each other. Uh, caring, giving, nurturing. Always lending a helping hand. They're, you know, very supportive kind of energy also. Helpful people. So we have the two of, two of wands. Yeah. So you're going to be kind of indecisive. Not sure which direction do I go down? What path do I take? Here, you need clarity with the Ace of Swords about this leap of faith. So, yeah, definitely seek out helpful people about this uh, situation. If you feel like they're too bound and tied to their career or whatever they're doing here, um, and you're not sure if they're going to have time for you, I think they're trying to resolve that uh, with positive movement forward. So listen to your intuition. Exactly. So here is like divine energy with the tower, trying to send you messages uh, Shaking things up. And the Page of Swords also is truth and clarity also. So listen to that rumbling, that intuition, that gut feeling, uh, signs, messages. Messages here with the Page of Swords is message energy of truth and clarity. Divine may be sending you messages and clarity here that you're not seeing with the Tower energy. Just really listen to how you're feeling with this person. Because you're undecided with the Eight of Cups here, whether to continue on or walk away from this uh, connection. But there can be happy, good times here with the Three of Cups energy. Six of Cups again. So definitely here, you could have had past lives with this person. Six again with the Six of Pentacles, very balanced. So I think things will balance out in time. I think you're just going to have to give it time. Pentacles is uh, all about time, patience. Two of Cups, so there you, have, there you have soulmate union. So I do feel this could be a soulmate connection here. Cancer, but it's up to you. And uh, listening to your gut, you know, in, your intuition about this person, you may be conflicted because they're so caught up in their um, new beginning in their career. And they could be Scorpio Libra. And you can meet them around the fall time. Okay, Cancer, uh, if you like this resonated for you, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings, four readings a month. Don't miss out on that. Good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.